And in today's video, I'm going to be touring this really beautiful, beautiful home. Now, the name of this home sounds familiar, I know, but this is a different home. I've toured the Bougie before. I'll put the other tour up in the iCard above. Above, this is the Bougie XL. Beautiful home. It's a four bedroom, two bath, or maybe three baths. We're going to go in here and see. But I toured the Bougie over at Clayton Homes in Opelika, and it was a three bedroom, two bath. So this one is made somewhat different and it's absolutely beautiful. Let's go in and we'll take a look, okay? So we just walked into the living room. That's just a little sneak peek. I'm gonna turn around and let you see the area that we just walked into. This is the living room area. Really nice space. Huge, huge, huge living room right here. So you got your living room. I would put an entry table right there or a bench. And then you've got your other space over here. It opens up into the dining room and kitchen. You've got a slider right there. Huge slider, which is always a plus. Got your dining room table, room for a long, big table. Love the built-in, it would probably be, I would even have the decor that went with the, you know, like my punch bowls and stuff like that. Or some, well, maybe that would be under the bottom. Either decor, but I'm thinking I might, would even make that a beverage bar because I love my coffee. You guys know I love my coffee. If you don't like the farmhouse, um, feeling here of course the walls and decor and backsplashes and and feature walls can all be changed to fit your liking it can all you can order it the way you want you don't have to buy the lot model but this is the dining room area and this is the kitchen look at that huge huge island y'all it's only got three bar stools but you could put three more under there that bar stool is huge it's got the um double sinks in it don't mind my purse and all that stuff it's got the double sinks in it but you know and a lot of people don't like the sink in the island but look with a sink in an island this big you it wouldn't even bother you look at all this island space and then you got drawers and cabinets throughout this whole island so you've got a lot of space in here for storage you've got the tan that's my phone, you guys. Every time my husband walks in the back door, it chimes. I'm sorry. You got the tan cabinets here. And then behind it, you've got the white cabinets. And I love, love, love the fact that wherever there's a cabinet, there's a drawer. So you got lots of storage. That my uh, battery died. So you got lots of storage in this house. You don't have as many uppers as you do lowers, but it definitely makes up for not having all the lowers. And I do see space where you can add additional uppers. You can add uppers over there. Um, you could definitely add uppers over there. If you wanna get real risque, you can put uppers and lowers over here, but I wouldn't take away from the walk space between the island. Personally, I would need all of these uppers with all of the lowers that you have in this house. So it's really up to you and your liking. You got the black stainless steel in here. Love the uh, farmhouse backsplash. Again, if you don't care for that farmhouse look, you don't have to order it with that. You can do a tile or no backsplash at all. Subway tile is beautiful in any style home to me personally. So you got the black stainless steel appliances, ceramic top stove, built-in microwave. You got these two huge windows in this house. Really, really nice. And then you've also got your little butler's pantry over here. Look at all this additional space and storage, decor, appliances, whatever you like can go over there. Now I changed my mind. I said beverage station over there, but I didn't see this. So this would be my beverage station. 
Then I got space for storage over here, all of my toilet paper and paper towels and stuff that I wouldn't need to walk somewhere else to get would be right here. You've got pantry space, like the, the storage space in this house goes on and on, you guys. Look, you got a pantry uh, area over here. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got a nice size refrigerator, got your little, uh, Got your little feature wall right there. Really nice. This is a nice house, you guys. Again, this is the Bougie, Bougie XL. I'm standing in the butler's pantry and look how much space you have. That huge island is everything. Let's go see what's behind door number one. Again, you've got these sliders probably can't open them. Nope. They got a bar down there because there's no steps. And so this is your AC room. So no need to open that. You've got your utility room over here. The cabinet color matches the cabinet um, color of the island. Washer and dryer goes there. More storage space in here, you guys. Beautiful. And then there's enough space that if you wanted to put like something over here, maybe a deep freezer or whatever. You have space over there to do it. Love the lighting coming through this window. There's no back door here because you got a sliding glass door, but you do have this big window for light and you do have all of this storage space in here. Really nice. And this is off the dining room. Really, really nice. So we're gonna go down this hallway past the island and take a look at the rest of the house. How about that? All right, so, we, oh, it does have a back door. It has a side door, but it's not in the utility room. So you got you, uh, uh, the other bougie that I posted was made just a little different, but it had a bonus room as well. This one is a separate space, which is awesome because if you're entertaining, the, you have grown folks entertainment, over here, kitchen, dining room, living room area, and then maybe the kids are back here, or vice versa. It's really up to you and what your needs are, or your living room can stay nice and neat and clean, and this can be a family area, play area, um, just whatever you like. Love the ceilings, the tray ceiling uh, with the touches of wood in the ceiling. I know it's not real wood. Somebody's gonna comment on that, but you know what I mean, it's a wood look. Love that you have the space here for your refrigerator and, excuse me, ha, for your TV. And you also have um, your fireplace here. So really nice feature in this home. Again, this is the Bougie XL out at Vivian Homes in Baldwin, Georgia. Look at this pantry. In addition to the pantry space that you have in the butler's um, closet, you also have an additional pantry here for food stuff if you like. Really nice. So you have so much storage in this house, you guys. So much storage. I cannot get over for, you know, this is a, I think this is a four bedroom. So you're going to need a lot of storage. This slider right here. Look, entertainment capital. I kind of figured that's what it was. So you're entertaining in this room. The kids are here. You can see them from the kitchen. That's the butler's pantry, right? So nice. Look at this. I'm in love with this house. Bougie XL. Absolutely beautiful. So you got your back door here. And off the back door, you have the guest bathroom. You got a sink there. Love the cabinet space, but you have an open concept at the bottom. Separate room with a door that has the toilet and the um, tub and shower combo. This is really awesome because if you have a boy and a girl, right? When they're getting ready for school, one can be in here using the restroom, taking a shower, and the other one can be here brushing their teeth, washing their face. So that's nice. Or if you have um, different guests that are here, kind of can share the bathroom if that's okay with them. But I really like that, especially if you have kids and, and they're different sexes as they get older, you know, they need their privacy. So 
really nice and again that's the back door and then right here is one of the guest bedrooms nice space in this guest bedroom there's your closet over there really nice off the family room and then guest bedroom number two is right here okay there's the closet there and I'm thinking this is a Jack and Jill because you have a door here Oh, got another bathroom, Jack and Jill. Uh, two sinks in this one. Again, you have the same type storage area with the open cabinet at the, they have a cabinet here. And then you have the open concept at the bottom. Really nice. Two sinks, two mirrors. You got your toilet, tub and shower in here. Beautiful. They really thought about what would benefit someone in this home. This is a well thought out house. I love this for a big family. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms. So, and then that's the other bedroom right there across from the pantry. Looks like it may be the bigger or it might be the same size as the one next door. You got your closet there. Really nice. And of course, that's the Jack and Jill bathroom that we just saw. All right, let's go see the master, you guys. Can it get any better? Like this home is absolutely beautiful. I love this, well thought out. I absolutely love this home. Finished drywall. I don't know if I said that, but you got your finished drywall in here. Here is your master bedroom. Nice size master bedroom. Smells new. I love the smell of a brand new home. It took a long time for that smell to get out of my house. Now it's lived in, but it took a long time and I loved it. All right, you got your master closet here. You got some doors there. So you can't really get the full picture, but I'll look at the floor so you can kind of get an idea of how big it is. Nice size. My husband and I could share this one. It's double the size of my closet. We can't share my closet, but we could share this one, I think, maybe. No, not really, because I could put a makeup table there or some extra storage shelves. I could put a makeup table over here. This could be like a whole vibe in here, you guys. This could be like a, a whole vibe in here. I could see that. Really nice. And then over here, you've got your master bathroom. Got your double sinks there. All the storage and shelving space. You've got your huge garden tub over there. You got built-ins on either side. I think the bougie that I tore before the three bedroom had the built-ins like that too. I might look at it before I post this. You got your toilet there, all right? And then you got your shower here and it doesn't have the sliding glass, this door opens. And of course it's missing it, but it really needs the rain shower shower here. That's what it's missing. Awesome. So that's the master bath, big transom window over the tub. Beautiful. So excited to see how much this one costs, you guys. This home is at the storage space alone has me sold. I love this home. The Bougie XL. Absolutely beautiful. Price is always on the refrigerator. This is the Bougie XL. It's a Clayton home, four bedroom, three bath. Cost of this home, $119,995. And I'm going to pan out so you can stop and read. This is what every, this 
sheet covers what's in the cost of this home. If you want to take a look, the base price includes delivery setup and tie downs. This is Vivian Homes in Baldwin, Georgia. All right. If you're interested, all of this information will be in the description box below. Really nice people. The owner's name is Vivian. If I can find a picture of her, I put it here. She's had, she's owned this dealership for 32 years and she takes pride in the quality of homes that she has. And I'm so glad I found her. This place is beautiful. Thanks so much for watching the Mobile Home Diva. All right, you guys have a great, great rest of your day. I don't have to party to have fun, you see. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. I wake up and live my dream. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it. Disagree. I wake up and live my dream.